The Changing American Dream, Beginnings Through Reconstruction. For two centuries, the American dream has been the hope that helped America become a great nation. It was the Puritans' desire to find religious freedom and tolerance. It was the Patriots' wish to found a new republic that guaranteed the rights of its citizens. It was the Reformers' goal of a just society. And it was the guiding beacon for all those who have struggled to make a better life for their families. To help you make sense of the formative years of the American Republic and of the developing American dream, this lecture will provide a review that is organized around the nine historical themes that are woven into the course. This thematic review will help you focus on the major issues that had emerged in American history by the end of the Reconstruction in 1877. The first theme we're going to be talking about is diversity in the national identity. The United States developed a very diverse population, but through continual contact, the, di the diverse groups developed many commonalities. For centuries, Native American groups had followed many different ways of life, each suited to a particular environment, whether you were in the Great Plains, the Southwest, the Northwest, the Northeast, each Native American group adapted to its environment and had a very different way of life. While adapting some aspects of European culture, they passed on parts of their own culture to the European settlers. English settlers did not respect Native American culture, but adopted many Native terms and agricultural practices. In the Spanish colonies, settlers and Native peoples interacted very closely. As settlers brought different cultures to different regions, they continued, to con uh, continued contact led to the blending of cultures. Nevertheless, the diversity of the populations and the unequal status of the different cultures caused much tension. Dutch New Amsterdam and Quaker Pennsylvania, conversely, showed more tolerance of religious differences than the Puritans in New England did. German and Scots-Irish Scots immigrants settled from New Netherland to as far south as the Carolinas. The Southwest and California reflected the culture of the Spanish colonies and the cowboy. Over time, the northern and southern regions of the United States developed very distinct cultures. A key feature of Southern culture was slavery. While forced to adapt to slave status in Southern culture, African Americans maintained as best they could their traditions of family relations, dance, music, and crafts. These, in turn, helped shape, helped shape Southern culture as Southerners adopted to the ways of their captives. Now, I want you to answer a question. If you have to go back and, and watch this video, feel free. The question is, what impact did the different cultures in North America have on the United States? Once more, what impact did the different cultures in North America have on the United States? We're talking about the Native Americans, Germans, Quakers, Puritans, and other European groups, and finally, African slaves. How did all of these peoples come together to form a new culture which would become strictly American? The Europeans were changed, the Africans were changed, and the Native Americans and Spanish were changed. So how did the, what was the impact of all of these different cultures in North America? What was the impact on the United States? Stay tuned for immigration and migration.